Hello, everyone. Welcome to 6 a.m. Run's first ever 6 a.m. Run studio podcast. Uh, we're coming to you live out of our new headquartered studios, I guess you could say. We have obviously our warehouse and everyone knows we're located here in Delaware. But you guys have made the podcast so popular in terms of having over 200 and some listeners every week downloading that. Um, I want to give a special shout out to Mark, who was doing that podcast for us and still does. Uh, he's going to have continue to have guests. But we thought locally here, a lot of times we don't really do a good job of showing everyone inside of 6 a.m. run. So I think what we're doing with this, and just I'll tell you guys my goal real quick, is to do that and bring you guys an actual weekly episode um, with myself. A lot of times I hope to bring my family. Uh, we'll get to them in one second. Um but uh, no, well, welcome to 6 a.m. Run's first studio podcast. Uh, bear with me as I have never done this before. I hope to get better every episode. Um, London, how, did, how am I doing right now? Good. Good. <laughs> so we'll start off with you. Everyone, please meet my second daughter, London Sky Mahani, and my beautiful wife, Hitomi <laughs> Mahani. Um, so I wanted to bring you guys on to kind of the first episode. Um, because 6 a.m. run would not be where it is today without the loving support of my family. Uh, one of my daughters could not be here today, but I definitely want to give her a shout out as well. Layla Mahani, you know we love you so much and we thank you for everything and support that you've done over the years for all of us. Um, but Layla is being a 17-year-old right now and 17-year-olds, as we all know, and any of us that have them, they are very, very busy and we understand that and we hope to have you on very soon too, Layla Mahani. With that being said, um, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Glad to be here. <laughs> Honestly, or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm a little nervous. But you know, we got right, London. We got to put ourselves out there a little bit. We got to let people know about who is behind Six AM Run. Mm -hmm. You or me? Oh, um, you. Yeah. Me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Six AM Run started before you were born, huh? Mm -hmm. A little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just were born and that's all you kind of know? Yeah. Yeah. So should we go a little bit deep into the history? So what I'm going to do too, a little different, I do want you guys to really learn about me. And I am a huge basketball soccer guy originally. Um, and then running kind of came in, came into my life later when I couldn't do those two things at high levels. Um, sneakers and sneaker culture and fashion have always been a huge part of my life and how I base certain decisions around those two things. So we're going to start every episode, but this is going to be cool because this sneaker that I'm going to introduce, that's one of my all-time favorite sneakers, then holds a special part in why I married my wife. So we're going to go with the Bordeaux 7 Jordans, right? You know these very well. I'm yes. going to say the story in a second. These were actually the first Jordans I got brand new from my parents. Um, back in 1988, 89, when the sevens came out, or no, I'm sorry, early nineties when the sevens came out. Um, and they hold a special place for me, this colorway, Michael Jordan, I remember wore them in the all-star game for the first time, then never again. And I played in these all summer that summer until on the driveway everywhere until they had no tread on them. Um, again, one of my favorite sneakers, you know, I, I play, I have, how many of these have I had now collected over the years that I play in them? Uh, you have, a, you have to have three, by the way, guys, you have, you have to have an, a one you don't touch, one you do wear and tear, and then one you might wear, right? On like, okay, occasions, but you still don't want to scuff them up, right? It's too much. That's three of everything is perfect. <laughs> But I'll say with this shoe and why I'm bringing this shoe out on this episode is why I married this lovely lady right here. So one day I'm going to go play basketball and I go to grab these shoes and one's missing. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't lose shoes. Why is one missing? I go to Hitomi and I say, babe, where's my shoe? She's like, oh, you're crazy. It's where all your shoes are. I'm like, no, it's gone. So it was gone for weeks <laughs> and my birthday's coming up and we, was it my third? Or it was 30th, right? It was the 30th birthday, right? Okay. It was my 30th. So it was a big one. Um, I'll send, we'll put a picture up of this cause I have it. So we had a kind of party for my 30th. The cake comes out and Mr. Tomi here gave my shoe to a baker to model and make me an Air Jordan 7 Bordeaux <laughs> cake. 
A lot of fondant on that thing. Very unedible. That was so nice. But it was one of the moments I knew, all right, this lady's the one. With that, how's it? How's the ride been for you so far? Babe? Now let me let you do some talking. The ride through our marriage or our, our well, no, starting and then getting here. It's been a, a lot of uh, endless <laughs> hours of just work. So, but, you know, a lot of money and a lot of, you know, blood, sweat and tears. Go into it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. The other thing, too, you guys need to know about it, Tommy, to fund this project. Um, I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. Um and trying to do different things. Uh, some of the people in this room right now know I had a league and I'm always loving basketball. And I, um, I'm not your nine to five guy. No, not, I don't, you, I don't, I don't, don't do work that. Well with I can't, I don't, I don't work well with others. Under, under anybody. I don't work well. Pause. <laughs> I don't work well under anyone. Okay. Um, but um, I think you got, you, I think you saw that and supported that. And yeah. that's what obviously makes our marriage work. Right. And you believe in yeah. me. And now you working here full time, you get to see the people's lives. I think we change. Yeah. How I do mean, you feel about that every day? Does that? I mean, I can see, I, you know, it's nice to see new customers, but it's definitely way better seeing customers that come back order after order. And I always send like, you know, like little milestone, like if there's like a, the 25th, order or 75 orders like i'll slide like a gift card or something yeah. in there and that's really really cool um i think there's somebody that's like over 100 orders so far you know like it's it's been it's cool to like you know be able to be a part of somebody's lives like that you know and knowing that they use the product um faithfully and you know it, it, it their... makes it worth it oh, yeah, absolutely worth yeah, yeah, yeah i want you to start off too one of the things i love about you you've never let go of the makeup industry. You're from the makeup industry. Yeah, hair and you can't take and... that away from me. <laughs> no. Do you do? You, and I, I think I know the answer to this. Do you still do that to this day? Even though I need your help a lot in six same run. Is there? You do a lot of weddings right now. It's wedding season. Mm -hmm. There's a satisfaction when you make people feel better about themselves. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the artistry too, and just being able to be part of somebody's like major day, and you know. It's always fun to be, and it's a big day. So doing weddings and events and people, you know. Yeah. No, you, you come home and I know you're, you're humble. I, I, I'm, we're opposite. I think that's why it works for us a lot, you know, cause we are so, I feel we're so opposite yeah, on the definitely. end of the spectrum. Of, but you're, you, I can tell on Saturdays, a lot of times you work Saturdays still with that. Saturdays, and I Sundays, can tell when you Fridays. come home and you, have a picture of someone sent you and they say right then in the middle of that day yeah oh my god i look beautiful thank you and yeah you i can tell your days yeah good. definitely yeah. that's a, yeah I, I mean it's the same as you know customers posting right. stuff daily too so the same satisfaction of like you know you you're you contributed to that you yeah. know london let's get to you what's your thoughts on mom and dad what do you think when you think when, so if someone were to ask you describe mom and dad to me well how do you and be honest how do you answer that they're great parents. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Well, um, I just think like I have, I have some great parents and I'm thankful. Yeah. But if I say describe them, what are your parents like? Um, well, my dad's a child. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, my mom's cool because I get to um, do like makeup and I get to help with packaging and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. London did recently learn how to package boxes. <laughs> yeah. And she's really good at that. What do you, what's, what's in, what's London, what's in, what's in, what's in London's world right now? I'm about to start school, so. Yeah. Um, not much. What did you start last year? A, a business. You started a business? Mm -hmm. Who'd you learn how to start a business from? Dad. Yeah. <laughs> what's your business? I make bracelets. Yes. Mm, it's going really well. Yeah. Mm. The bracelets have some meaning, right? People kind of, you try to help people. Obviously, they want to, like, I'll tell you, like, I'm wearing 6 a.m. run that you made me with our colors, mm. right? So people kind of come to you mm. with requests. What's the name of your business? London's Calling. 
And is that the where everyone can find you on Instagram and TikTok mm-hmm. as London's no, calling? Not, not TikTok. Oh, you're not old enough. That's right. You you got banned from TikTok. <laughs> you're not old enough. <laughs> but soon we'll get there soon, right? Mm-hmm. How old are you? I'm eight. Eight. You're gonna be nine soon. What a, what do you what what's you do something else right now that you love? I do basketball. Yeah, you made a pretty big decision recently too, huh? Yeah. Would you say? Um. I want to quit tennis. And you were doing tennis for a little bit there. Yeah. Why do you like basketball more than tennis? Because I just, I just rather do basketball more than tennis. Even though I know I can do both, I I just rather do basketball. You do yeah. you love it more? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're oh, and did, did it did it help that decision? You have a family that loves basketball. Yeah. 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 Um, back to you, Miss Mahani, Mrs. <laughs> Mahani. Um, how I'm everywhere, I admit, I'm kind of like all over the place. How do you center it and kind of say, okay, the kid's got to be here being mom because you, you do a great job of doing both. I feel like Lennon said I'm a child. I feel like I get in my lanes and I need to finish what I'm starting. How do you balance having an entrepreneur husband who's probably too ADHD to some extent? How do I? And you have to balance being everywhere and everything for all of us. I mean, I just keep in mind that I have more than one role, and uh, you know, it's it it's nice to have like a um like a gr- like a like basketball moms and like other moms that help me with like balancing it out too. You know, they, we all have jobs, and you know, we have to make you know have many hats. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's stressful though, isn't it? It is, but. It, I mean, my planner helps and my you, phone, my apps. So we, we are your quintessential kind of, I don't know what's going on until five minutes before. And you tell me we got to be here. Oh my goodness. That drives me insane. Um, I have to put everything in a planner and you're like, oh, we have this going on today. And we have like this included. Right. <laughs> Where we are now. Well, I, I feel like if I you need know, to be there, I I'll make to, it. I, I need, I need time to like you know (laughs) prepare things and um you know make sure that everything everything like i mean even with outfits like i have to make sure like every like we're all set and ready for the following day like her and i are kind of similar in that aspect of like you know making sure everything is ready before we we need to be and you know, I need a I need a heads up more than just like five minutes before yeah. we have to go somewhere. You're like more like spur of the moment, you like sputney. Yeah. Like I feel like I used to be like that in like my twenties, but I I feel like as I got older, I, as more people needed me, and um, you know, I need to have everything written down. Like you you mm-hmm. you clown me for my like old no, school listen. planner um sketch like you know i'm not like techie like that as far as like putting it all on um our like google calendar or anything like that but something about you know writing things down on a paper that i can i can i feel like there's like i'm i can hold myself accountable for those kind of things i you know? think i think i think entrepreneurs want to say that they don't answer to people i think no we definitely do but i think what i love is is, is to be just able to say you know, if it's important, it, it'll find its way to me, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? And okay. you definitely, though, you want to please everyone. You, as, as a lot of mothers do, I think that's the different kind of quality. Mm-hmm. I think I, I sometimes look at physically providing, right? Do, do, does everyone have clothes? Does everyone have this? Does there, and then I think that's the great balance, I think, of, you know, having both parents in terms of, like, the differences, right? Yeah. I look at things more black and white of, okay, do the kids have the clothes they need? Do they have what they need? Right. And you, to your point, it's more, it's my, it is much more than that. And I think that's where make a great team, babe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what, um, are you ready for school? Yeah. Yeah. What are your, let's go. Cause obviously being the 6am run podcast and, and talking, I, I do want to talk about, you know, letting people behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. What do you, when your friends ask you about 6am run, what do you tell them? They never asked that, but... They don't ask that? <laughs> no? If someone were to ask you, what's 6 a.m. run? What do you say? Oh, it's a... It's a... It's products for running. 
and they and they're hydrating in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do, um, do you take it? I mean, only the ones I could take. No, the nut ones with no caffeine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the last couple of questions. What do you, if daddy gets really, really old and still has the company, do you want it one day? I mean, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What, when you were little, what did we, I, I want to say this while you're on, we're wrapping it up soon. When you were little and everywhere we went and you saw a runner, what did daddy used to say? Six and run, try it. You would roll your window in the cold. You would roll your window down, right? And yell at a runner, right? Six and run, try it. He or still does. which we guys, we are going to come back to a couple marathons. You're going to be. At the, are you going to come to the marathons with me and hand out flyers like when you were a baby? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, when I always say six and run, try it, um, some people have like. They're not even on. listening. Yeah, I know. No, uh, but, but when me and my mom. We went somewhere, and this guy had no headphones, so I screamed it. Yeah? And he was like, um, okay. <laughs> Do you think he tried it? <laughs> Should have gotten a name. We could have, like, figured it out. And that's, we got to end on that. But Delaware, guys, Delaware needs to buy more 6 a.m. run. We are from Delaware. We're, we do business in Delaware. Um, we're going to do more with some local running clubs and yeah. stuff soon. But it's Delaware should be our best state. And... It's, at, it's it's getting there, yeah. but it's not. Yeah. I mean, we you know we want more <laughs> Delaware. We want more Delaware customers, right? Yeah. Did I did I forget anything as we wrap it up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So no. London's calling. Yeah. And Tommy and I can be found pretty easily, but I definitely, like I said, I wanted to give everyone kind of a little bit of a peek into the family, uh, the day to day of Six Same Run. Introduce you guys. Um, we're excited to do these podcasts. I think we got a little more comfortable as the episode went along. Starting, it was a little awkward. <laughs> yeah. Right? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. You, you'll, you'll, be my co you'll be my guest host sometimes, yeah. and I'll take a break. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> thank, thank you, everyone, for watching this. Thank you, everyone, for supporting 6 a.m. Run. Um, I, we, again, gratitude is what we always preach, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you, you guys, without the team, without... Uh, everyone that's helped us over the years we wouldn't be here today we're excited to do this podcast so thank you everyone thank you thank you